Kenny Brooks in a, well, first time you've been in this position. He's been one of the hunters for all the years in the league, but now he's the hunted. Congratulations on the, the championship last year, the NCAA tournament, and you are the reigning champ and the preseason number one pick. Well, it was a whirlwind. You know, the kids worked extremely hard all year. I was very proud of them to be able to accomplish their main goal to win a championship. Uh, as far as being the preseason favorite this year, I'm going to go back and tell them that we were pick number 11 and not one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, to They'll never buy it, No, <laughs> but, you know, but, but it is good. They understand this year that, you know, in order to repeat and to get to where we were, we got to play a little bit harder because everyone's going to understand that, you know, you're a good basketball team and we have the target on our back and the kids understand that and it makes them work a little bit harder in practice. You know, Al mentioned Don, a uh, tremendous player, fifth leading scorer in the nation a year ago. Uh, how much better can she get? And she's also a wooden nominee. Well, people don't understand, you know, she did all of that last year uh, and was not healthy. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, it was you not tell. healthy. And, and, you know, there was there was times when I had to pull her just to sit her, to rest her, yeah. and fatigue was bothering her. You know, we're getting a situation where we at least understand it better. Uh, we know how to monitor her situation. I'll rest her. Although it's very hard to pull her out of practice. She cuts her eyes at me like, <laughs> like I'm daddy, and I just told her she couldn't do something. Uh, but she's a competitor. She's a competitor, but we have to make sure we monitor her situation. We've done that. She's done well. And I look forward to her having a better year this year than she did last year. And she's a senior. And like you said, she is a fierce competitor. How is her leadership going to trickle down through this team that only lost one senior from last year's championship squad? You know, I, I told uh, my staff the other day, she's probably the best leader that I've had since I've been here. Uh, I call her my mini-me because, you know, she and I will have meetings and we'll talk about certain things or I can say things to the team. And if she goes to the media, she sounds just like me, you know, which means that we're on the same page right. Right. and she's listening. And her leadership is just as valuable to us as her 24 points a game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's what really got us over the hump last year. She really brought the team together. And in a situation, a lot of adversity, we could have faltered. You know, with her situation, and but she really gathered the team with the inspiration because of her play, right. but being on the floor, but also the things that she said, and uh, she means the world to our program. You know, she's a great player, no question, but it's it's far from a one-woman show at James Madison. You've got three other starters returning. Uh, who else is going to step up this year? You know, one of the kids I think is going to make the, the biggest impact for us is not even a returning starter, and it's Lauren Jimenez. Yeah. And she's not been a starter because she hasn't been healthy. Right. Well, this year, knock on wood, you know, this is the first time she's had a preseason. Uh, she's practicing for us right now, and what she gives us is a, a threat down low. Mm -hmm. You know, we throw the ball inside. Even if she doesn't score it, she's going to bring so much attention to her. Now we've got kids like Dawn Evans shooting more uh, open shots. Mm -hmm. Courtney Hamner, who I think is going to have a fantastic year yeah. for us, this year you know she's going to be shooting open shots and it's going to open the lanes for us so you know Dawn is a big part of what we do uh, but Lauren Jimenez really can take us to a different level and Tariq Hislop also she was a CAA rookie team member and her explosiveness on the perimeter is outstanding you know I say Tariq is the most underrated player in the CAA and, you know, and rightfully so you know when you're uh, a freshman in this league and you average 10 points a game for the uh, CAA champions some people might think you might be the CAA rookie of the year but you've got an All-American in Elena Della Don. Well if you average 10 points a game for your team and you win a CAA championship some people might think you're the best guard on your team. There's another All-American in right. front of her and Dawn Evans so right. I think she's flown under the radar so to speak. Mm -hmm. I think this year she's prone to come out uh, she's made leaps and bounds with her maturity with her decision making and I think she's gonna have a fantastic year for us. You know, Kenny, taking a look at your schedule this year, you're going to find out very early how good this team is going to be and how much improvement you made because if you look at it, you, you play Hampton, you go to Iowa, or out in the Caribbean, I guess. You have Iowa and Montana, Duke. Duke's coming to your place. Yes. yes. How would you pull that off? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Actually, with the Duke situation, they recognize that we're a good basketball team. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're a good RPI game right. for them. And, and they, they feel like that their, their program is in a position mm -hmm. that uh, if they go out and handle their business, that they should win basketball games. And you got to respect that. You know, it's really good for us because now we get those teams, sure. not only that will bring us to their place, but that will return the game. And that's big for our program, for our community. But for the rest of the schedule, I don't know who made that schedule. I need well, to fire that coach. You've got Liberty, you've got uh, Virginia. 
And that's uh, and of course you got Virginia playing at your place too. I believe. Well, and and it, and it is again. It's good for the community. You know, Debbie Ryan stepped up. I really appreciate the fact that she came over to play us because it, it does wonders for our program. Uh, but you know, the other games that we have, Liberty. Liberty has a chance to be a top twenty basketball. Middle team. Tennessee's right. good yeah, program. Middle Tennessee's a good program. Iowa is a very good program. Right. But what right. we wanted to do is try to give ourselves. Uh, some room. We want to be an NCAA basketball team, and we don't want to have to rely on the tournament just to do that. And I felt like last year, even though, even if we hadn't won the championship game, that we would have had a chance to make the NCAAs. And you are picked to repeat, but this year it's going to be on a neutral court if that happens, and the Showplace Arena right up in Maryland, very close to James Madison. Well, I'm not happy that it had to leave JMU, but, you know, if it did have to leave, I'm glad it's at a neutral place, and I think the people at the Showplace will do a fantastic job. I think it's going to be good for our kids to be able to experience a neutral court and everything being equal and not one team having an advantage. And it's going to prepare you for the NCAA tournament. And it will prepare you for the NCAA tournament, exactly. So I think it's good for the league. Uh, Again, if I have my vote, we bring it back to the Convocation Center, (laughs) but since it is going to a neutral place, I'm very happy. Well, Kenny, congratulations on the, the great season a year ago, and good luck this year. Thank you very much, John.